guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my wardrobe stylist kit, which is so important in my field. If you guys are aspiring stylists, just keep watching and I can show you what you'll need to have in your kit as a wardrobe stylist. I'm going to take you through these key items that I have in my kit and then also how you can apply them in your own wardrobe so you can be dressing like a star because they always look flawless and I'm going to show you how they always look. So nipped and tucked and perfect with these items that I carry in my kit. So keep watching because I'm going to take you through each key item and then the ones that I think are important for your everyday wardrobe I'll definitely highlight and speak a little more on. So let's get started. Okay so this is my wardrobe kit that I would carry with me. So first things first I'm just gonna kind of like pull through what I have and then I'll talk about each thing as we pull them out of this magic essentials kit no uh, you know you know what I mean okay so actually first things first is a rack if you're gonna be a wardrobe stylist you definitely need a rack um, sometimes production companies provide it for you but if you know you're gonna have a fitting with a client you definitely would want a rack or two or three or four or five depending on the amount of clothes you have so of course that's number one essential number two essential I would say is a steamer. So a steamer, again, sometimes production will provide it for you if you're on like a video shoot or something like that. I like to carry with my in my kit just a, a little travel one. This one is a Rowenta, and it's just like a little baby steamer. I take this with me traveling for my own personal needs, and then I also um, carry one in my kit. Of course, the industrial steamer is the best one. The next thing that you should have in your kit is always carry a robe for your clients. You know, when they're getting their hair and makeup done, while they're changing from look to look, it's just nice for them to be cozy in a robe. Um, so that's your job to provide that, as well as slippers. These are just like my personal ones. I'm just showing you slippers, again, for your clients so they can be cozy on set and if there's heels, but they don't want to walk from the hair and makeup to set or you know in their heels then they can walk in their slippers comfortably and then you can just switch them out in heels and so again that is the job of a wardrobe stylist so moving on is a sewing kit it's just always important to keep a sewing kit on hand I have a lot of white thread black thread because that's what I mainly use but then you know I also have in this box, there's a whole bunch of colored thread, you know, just so I have. So they're all in this little box here. Um, a ton of safety pins. Safety pins is like a number one must. Got a fitting, you can pin what needs to be altered, that kind of thing. These are obviously, you don't need these for your everyday wardrobe. I'm just kind of going through what you need as a wardrobe stylist if you are aspiring to become one. So. Needle thread, that kind of thing in a sewing kit. Safety pins, flat pins, um, clasp, butt hook and eyes, those, all those things you can carry in a kit. You may not need it, but it's always important to have. So top stick is, I think, so important in a stylist kit and as well as just anybody's wardrobe. You can put them alongside here so it stays in place and you don't have any wardrobe malfunctions, ladies. Um, and you know, you can really just use it for anything. Like if there's like a belt that just keeps flapping, like, you know, if it doesn't go all the way through to the next um, belt loop, then you can just top stick that down. Like literally anything that just needs to be taped down, it's so strong and sticky. So that's why I love top stick because you can never have too much top stick. So there's that. You know, I've also seen these like fashion dress and lingerie tape. I prefer top stick. This one I think is like weaker. And then we have like a little sponge to take away deodorant marks because when you're trying on, taking off and trying on clothes, you know, you tend to get those deodorant marks. And even at home, you know, you will get those deodorant marks. I've gotten them tons of times. Um, this is a sweater pill remover. 
So you know when you get like that pilling of your sweaters after it's come out of the dryer or something like that. This will help you with that. You just just take the little sponge and you know it has instructions for you here. This one is Scotch sweater pillow remover. So that can be pretty important. It just keeps your wardrobe looking nice and fresh. Um, so those are very, very essential, I think, to anybody's wardrobe in life. Flawless. That's the look we're always going for here. Some more things that are in my bag are breast shapers. I freaking love the Target breast shapers. They look just like these ones, but they're less expensive. Um, they look like this. So... You actually, this one gives your breast like more of a shape. So there's these, I love any like the silicone. I don't like like the nipple covers that are like stars or hearts or anything like that. Like I hate those. I feel like you can see the shape through whatever you're wearing. So it's like what's the point anyways? Unless you're like going for that look I guess. But I think the silicone is like definitely more natural. So there's like these ones here that are like literally just nipple covers and they're great. I love them. These ones, you know, when you put them on, you pull up so it gives you more of like a lifted shape, which is amazing. I love, love, love these. I would definitely check Target if they have them. I'll link it. I'll link them below if I can find them. For some reason, they're always sold out. Can you guys order more because I freaking love those things. I'm like a big advocate of silicon breast shapers. Oh god. So in this bag here I have anything, brassiers, um, nipple covers, etc. So you have I also have these bra strap solutions. I think it's great if you know for those at home. If you're wearing like a razor back, I just I really don't like the look of a bra strap showing through a tank top. I don't know, I just gives me nightmares so just bring them in on the back with these guys and there's also these guys bra strap concealers where you can literally attach them to your top so that they don't slip out I just hate the look of um, bra straps showing I think just takes away from your outfit really it's like so distracting and then there's breast lift tape so you can, if you're wearing one of those like really deep V dresses or tops, that's going to be showing a lot of cleavage and you obviously can't wear a full bra, right? So you can put these breast lift tapes up here and it just gives you that lifted look, which is amazing. Okay, so also in this little bag is essentials that every wardrobe stylist needs. Of course, depending on your client, you're going to get the bra that they like. But you should just always carry nude strapless, for sure. And, you know, everybody likes different um, bras. Some people like maybe Victoria's Secret. Others like Calvin Klein. I don't know. It just depends. Obviously, we're all shaped differently. So just talk to your client and see what is best for their needs. But in general, every woman should have a nude strapless bra with, you know, the option of putting straps on. I think those convertible bras are like the best a black strapless bra white is also you can definitely have is optional for me because I feel like nude is probably better than white in some cases um, just it just depends really but definitely black and nude are great to have as well as a nude seamless thong panty version black thong and a black panty you just can't go wrong with like a nude or black seamless underwear I hate to see a panty line, so there's that reason why it's great to have those options. Continuing on, this is obviously not going to benefit your wardrobe at all. I'm just going to mention these for those who do want to be wardrobe stylists. Um, on photo shoots and like e-com, if we're going to do like styling for e-com, like these binder clips are really essential because most of the time you're just dealing with the sample. You don't want to like ruin them, but making holes with safety pins or sewing it because it's just like for that one like you know 10 minutes or however long they're shooting the model for or the client for so you can just pin whatever needs to be tightened if it's too loose on the model etc 
make your adjustments with these binder clips. So those are an essential for show. Um, scissors, of course, you need. It's part of the sewing kit, actually. I forgot to mention that. Um, a belt. What is this called again? A belt puncher. A belt puncher. A belt hole puncher. There you go. Oh my gosh, I'm sick and I'm like losing my mind. Um, so this I think is great even at home if you guys buy one of these. I'm sure you can get it on Amazon. I will try to link some options below. But um, have you ever gotten a belt and it's like too big on you? So you can just punch the hole or even like in shoes or something like if you need um, an, an additional hold instead of trying to do it with like a safety pin. There are tools, actual legitimate tools for that. That way, you know, the belt is custom fit to you. So this is very important. I love this thing. I always have to punch holes in my belts because I'm so short. And obviously, I'm not like a sample size. The other things I have in here is like downy wrinkle release. Awesome. Awesome for traveling. Love. And Febreze just to any musty smells. The lint roller, of course, is a part of the wardrobe kit. I'm sure if you guys have pets at home, this is like so key for you because I'm sure you guys have hair everywhere, making your clothes look super fresh. So then I have foot pedals. So for those of you guys who suffer in your heels, get yourself some foot pedals, ball of foot pedals. If you have shoes that got no grip, get these guys. So you can get some grip um, and don't slip. These guys, I always love. I always buy these. <clears throat> heel liner. Goes on the back of your heel so it doesn't scrape up and you get blisters and boo-boos all over your ankles. I hate that, but I feel like new shoes tend to cause it. So there's your solution. And this little bag is just all those little foot necessities. Um, just to really pamper your little feet and your client's feet. In this bag is kind of like a randomness of things. So you got wet ones in case there's a stain casually. Baby wipes are also really great to have. Oh gosh, I do have these nipple covers I was talking about. They're lace and heart. Like, no, no one needs this. I should, I don't know why they're in here. Tape measure is good. Mole skin is great. Gem tack. We do a lot of bedazzling where I work, so gem tack. <laughs> love a love a Swarovski crystal, a little baby um, lint roller. And then we got some super glue, fixing a Forever 21 ring, because those tend to break. <laughs> this one's just kind of like randomness, like glues and baby scissors, Sharpie, pen, just things that you might need. But always good to carry with you as a stylist. How many times have I said stylist in this video? Please tell me in the comments below. <laughs> One more thing after this. So jewelry trays are great to just keep organized all your jewelry. This is just an example of one, but depending on how much jewelry you have on the set, you know, you'd like to have a tray for each thing. So awesome for your room. Jewelry organizer, it's great. So last but not least, well, are just like pantyhose tights and stuff. Depending on your client, you know, if you just a good one to have. These are all filled with pantyhose. So that is everything that I have in my stylus kit. I hope you found this informational and helped out your wardrobe needs at home. So thank you guys so much for sticking through this entire video um, with my little sick self, but thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now, and I will see you in my next video, hopefully healthier and not sounding like this, so bye.